guys, what is up? We are back in Ark Survival Evolved, and today we have ourselves a little bit of a solo episode. I know, so lately we've been joined a lot by Zuljin. I, I believe I pronounced it right now. I'm sorry, apparently. I, I'm you guys you guys should know I'm awful when it comes to pronouncing names like I, I'd probably butcher my own name Let's be honest and I, I was butchering Zildjian's name quite a little bit uh, He corrected me continued to butcher it, but hey That's in the past. I still love Zildjian. He's my buddy and uh, Today today we got some awesome stuff in the works mainly mainly actually should I put my gamma up or down? Is, is nighttime going to hit or has it hit? It's going to hit. All right, we'll go with a little bit higher gamma then. And uh, we're still on the Poop and Evolved server. Bunch of nice friends here. This is awesome, awesome. We got a bunch of cool people. We're in the city right now. And uh, we got to add our own little plot to the city at this point. I think that's what we're doing. So we're going to be hopping on to one of the community mammoths here. One of these ever so kind fellas. Uh, it's got a level up to apply. I don't know how I should apply this. Uh, I'm going to just say maybe wait so we can carry more. Hopefully that's... Good, but we're gonna go ahead back up on this monstrosity. Oh my god, this thing is slow. It is so slow. Actually, now that we can sprint it's a little bit faster. Oh no, he's getting stuck on. Who's, what's he getting stuck on? Shadow? Shadow? DR Shadow? Or oh my guard? Alright, well, like I was saying, we are going to be heading out in about a little, little bit. Because we gotta chop down some trees. Why do we gotta chop down trees? To begin our house. And actually, we gotta probably learn the engram points and whatnot. Necessary for that, but. Hey, that comes later. Now, let's just get supplies and be happy and have a good time. So, uh, we gotta probably scout out a nice little place to build it, too. There's plenty of open. We might not honestly just build it by that rock. That's not too shabby of a place. It's right next to a graveyard, so it's gonna be spooky for Halloween. It's perfect, right? <laughs> Alright, and uh, right out here, we already have ourselves some nice trees. I'm gonna up the gamma a little bit more. Hopefully this isn't too insane. Uh, to be fair, I should probably up the brightness on my monitor a bit. Let's oh, let me close my blinds because those were open and let's just go ahead and begin at getting all the wood in the world Oh my god, I just love getting wood especially when there's so much of it. It's perfect. It's perfect There we go. Okay, we're chopping down berries not trees. We need berries. We need berries in our lives Gosh darn it. What is this shenanigans? There we go. That's the wood that we need. Wait, we don't need berries We need wood in our lives. That's what it is. I was getting that backwards But yeah, we should get plenty of thatch and wood just from Chopping down a couple wood nickety necks with uh, the community mammoth here. And once we have all that wood, make sure that the guy doesn't get too over encumbered here. We will be able to embark upon a building journey and actually have ourselves a dope, nasty little house to call our own. And that's honestly the most exciting part. You know, that is going to be the most exciting part. Okay. Let's continue getting a couple more of these. This shouldn't be too insane though with the gather aids and everything on the server. I think we'll be good. And uh, like literally a couple more trees to go, and we'll we'll be we can we can head out safely. Like no worries, we'll be we'll be Gucci swag, Gucci swig swag. Don't stop, watch it to the bang bang with the beat. I don't know. I was trying to like recite a song, and I realized there's a reason I'm not a songwriter, and that I play games. You know, there is. I'm no Bruno Mars. Maybe one day. I mean, I know I got a little bit of that seductive voice, right? No, just kidding. I'd never stroke my own beef like that. But. uh... I hear I got a decent voice, so I guess that's good. Alright, well we got ourselves quite a little bit of wood stacked up on this fella. That should be plenty for what we're trying to do. And I, I'm tempted to build on the graveyard. Because that'd be, that'd be extremely spooky. But at the same time, we don't want to desecrate the graves. So I'm saying hopefully it's cool with everyone. Uh, I don't know if I have the building ordinance required for this uh I'm, I'm hoping i'm hoping that i do if i don't that'd be bad uh i'm thinking just build right, right here this is a nice little like kind of in between spot it's not gonna be anything too insane uh all the guys on the servers they're insanely creative i have the creativity of a uh of a rock with with two left hands i don't know what the hands would have to do with the creativity but nonetheless that's how it works so, let us begin extract- holy mother of cloth hats, I forgot this was a thing. Yeah, I was just crafting up a lot of cloth hats for, uh, no reason whatsoever, I swear. Am I just- oh no, I'm dropping the cloth hats, okay. Yeah, uh, cloth hats, easy way to get XP. And we have a lot of fiber, so I thought to myself, hmm, that might not be a shabby idea. Okay, so, we got ourselves a bunch of wood. You are encumbered. That I am. Okay. We probably just want to pick up some thatch, too. Do we have more thatch than that? We do not have a lot of thatch, actually. We should... Hmm. 
Well, hopefully that's enough. That's all I can say. Now then, gotta go ahead and learn ourselves some recipes. We'll just begin with a nice little wood shack, but this will be our humble abode for the city. Eventually we'll move out, but right now we need the protection of the city because we're at relatively low level when it comes to it. I mean, yeah, we're really nothing to brag about in terms of levels. Uh, luckily for us, we got plenty of engram points to craft all these shenanigans. And all is good in the world. All is Gucci swig swaggity swoogity. Uh, except maybe, do we have the rest of the wood uh, stuff? We do, okay. I wasn't sure, except I don't, I'm not, I don't know, I didn't know if I was like perfectly high enough level, if I was a little bit off, but hey, we're good. We're good, that's all that matters. I think I have everything important. I got the ceiling, did I get the foundation? Yes, I did, okay. Foundation, that, uh, for the most part, we got the basics. I mean, we'll probably mess with some of the more advanced stuff, but for now, we just need a place to call our own. Because we currently don't have that, we call Zul'jin's place our own. Well, we call it his own, but we kind of sleep in it. Not creepy at all, right? <laughs> Let's... Uh, we could go with... Um, some more wood. Let's begin with the 3x3? Three three? Is, that, is that good? I don't know, 3x3? Three three. Yay? Nay? Yay? I heard yay. I heard yay. Yeah, we'll go with yay. Uh, we can craft five more of these. Yeah! Screw it, we got this. I believe. I believe that we will build. I believe that we will build. Hmm. Awesome, we got the wood foundations going. Unfortunately, oh, of course, almost forgot the awesome side effect of all this. We're gonna get levels up because building supplies are usually pretty high levels, so that's actually very awesome. Even That's like a triple whammy right here. We're building a house, so we're not a hobo no more. And we, we, we level up from it. Like, that's the best deal out there. You know, it's like, wow. We are really getting a good deal. This is like the clearance bin at uh, some store. What's a store with a clearance bin? I don't know. I don't really go to stores. That That's why Amazon exists. Okay. Get the rest of these bad boys down. Like I said, we gotta get ourselves a little bit more, but we will have a humble little 3x3 three three to begin with. And honestly, I can't complain. 3x3s three are nice and smexy. You know? They really are. So... I guess more thatch. Um, I'll get the community trike for thatch. Yay! Or do we need more wood too? We probably. Um, yeah, we probably want to get more wood too. Actually, yeah. Okay, more wood and more thatch. It'll it'll also be a double whammy. So let's keep on heading out. Uh, hopefully, I don't know. We went out a different way. Maybe this way we'll still have trees. Uh, by the looks of it, that's a yes. Yes, trees right. There. Oh my god, we like built in a forest. I don't know, I've never really, like, if you look at the map, I've never really built in this area. I know the swamp's very close by, I think that's where Zul'jin lives. So, he's always there, in case we need him. But, uh, we're gonna hopefully start becoming a little bit more self-dependent, like, like last episode. We were helping him a little bit with the bat taming and showing you guys an awesome way of taming bats. Hopefully you found that very informative and helpful. But uh, today, like I said, a little bit of a solo episode, just kind of focusing on this stuff and uh, explaining what's been up. So uh, if you guys watched the first episode, you might know that we migrated to the server. Uh, like I said, my Toronto down crashed. That's 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 the reason. Uh, you guys, it, it, it's it's the reason. It, it's it's an excuse for me to come to the server. Uh, a lot of guys were saying come to Royal Server, and honestly. I, I would have loved to go to Royal Server 2, but I didn't want to try something new, and I decided, you know, go, heading on the Pooping Evolved server, that's definitely, like, a new thing to try out, because, I don't know, no one out of our group's really on the server, so, uh, make some new friends, all that stuff, and, uh, a lot of times an Ark Royal does like to do his own thing, even when we were on the same server, a lot of times we did do our own thing, and, uh, I just kind of, I don't know, I want to do some stuff together, so, it's all good, though. Oh, good. Royal Slayers is an awesome server. I think this is actually a sub-server, so if you guys ever actually want to play on his, you, you can. I don't think you can play on Pooping Evolved. Uh, I don't know. I'm not I'm not a logistical type of man. I just play with dinosaurs, okay? Don't be asking me these big, important questions. <laughs> That's not my thing. That's not my name. Uh-huh. That's not my name. What is that, Thatch? Only 77? Oh, my God. We are really low on Thatch, then, aren't we? Sweet baby Jesus. All right. Well, I guess we might we might need to take like, huh? I don't know. We're gonna have to figure this out. It's gonna be a struggle building this house, you know. And by struggle, I mean it's gonna be a minor inconvenience. It's not gonna be like a real struggle, but it will be a minor inconvenience. And also, can we just recognize the fact that I'm actually able to hit these doors? I've always struggled when it comes to like hitting doors. 
and having them close while on, while on an animal, uh, that changed. I became a god all of a sudden. I can't miss. And, uh, so, so far I think for the house there's gonna begin- Oh no, the Dodo Rex! Uh, okay, just, just fingers crossed it's not close to here because that Dodo Rex terrorizes the landscape. Sweet. I don't even know. That's just where bad things happen, my friend. Okay. We got ourselves the rest of that thatch, a little bit more wood, and we just need ourselves two foundations. And once we have ourselves those beautiful, beautiful little foundations, we should be able to begin crafting up walls. Uh, we can get four of them. We probably, yeah, we still need more thatch. Uh, Wood-wise, we're, are we doing all right with wood? Like, I don't know. I want to say, yeah, we got... Eh, it's something. Alright, well, let's at least finish this off before we head back on out and at least have ourselves a little bit of a found. Forgot, wait, never mind. We're dying of thirst. Let's get some water. I love this, like, beautiful, like, little lake pond in the middle. This is so beautiful. This city. This little city. I love it. It's such a nice little place. Is that a diving board? No way. No way. I would totally dive in, but I, I don't know. I feel like I'd break my neck somehow. Let's be honest. With my luck, I would manage to break my neck on liquid water. So, yeah, that just that just me though. <laughs> All right. uh, we could head back on the community mammoth. Is there a community trike or something? Because we need a lot, 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 lot of thatch. There you are, trike. Uh, maybe actually a thatch on him already though. Would kind of save us some time. Yeah, actually. Would you look at that? Now this, my friends, is what I like to see. We got ourselves wood and we got ourselves thatch without having to do anything. It's like my life dream. Don't do anything and get rewarded for it. <laughs> yeah, if you guys can't tell, I am one of the laziest people you'll probably meet. But hey, I still have work ethic. Work ethic is important. Don't let anybody underemphasize that. Because even when I'm lazy, I'm working very hard at being lazy. So you can't knock me, you know? You can't. It doesn't work like that. Uh, we got ourselves a couple more walls doing a bunch more thatch. And we should be able to... Like I said, we're just going to start out very basic just so we have a place to call home. We'll end up going more insane, but just for now, this nice, chill little home and just have, have a good day. Have a good day. Well, actually, it's nighttime and, and the Dota Rex is terrorizing the countryside. So let's have a not awful day. I'm happier with that because, yeah, as you can tell, Dota Rex is currently raining hell upon the entire server. So that's... That's, that's a good one. That, that's always fun when uh, an abomination of the deep comes in and just destroys everything you know and love. So, yeah, yeah. It, it, Dodo Rex, it's, it's something else. And I think it's actually going to be tameable. Uh, I'll talk about that in a sec. Right now i got to use these brain cells of mine as spread thin as they are to craft up some things here. Uh, let's get to the door frame. And a door. That's my butchering of the word door. And if I'm not mistaken, I want to say we need five more walls. Two, three, four, five. And voila! If we could get unstuck, we're over encumbered. Oh no. Oh, no. okay, not anymore. We're good. We're starving though. That's not good. We have no food. Fud. Food. That's not good. Alright. Yo, Mr. Mammoth. I heard you got a lot of berries. Feed me. Yes, yes. Feed me. Haha. <laughs> I love berries. Just love throwing those little circular objects down my throat. Mm. It's delicious. It's the best type of delicious. All right, now that we got this, uh, where do we want the door? Maybe I'm thinking actually right here, kind of like little little hidden on the side. We could have it out towards the middle, but no, I want to be different. I'm different. That's what I am. And if we could just grab ourselves the door frame and the door, we will have ourselves a beautiful little beginning. You know. But at just the beginning, it will it'll expand. We can always expand it out a little bit further as long as we don't do anything too bad. Uh, hopefully this is cool. But this is a pretty nice spot. We'll be right next to the rock, which is very scenic. This is a very nice rock, actually. I I really I really love this rock. You know, it's right next to a spooky graveyard, a spooky Fiomia. Is that Fiomia stuck? Fiomia hasn't moved from the graveyard for. I, I think that Fiomia is actually stuck. Wow, impressive Fiomia, impressive. Really, that is impressive. And let's grab ourselves. He's got all the wood, doesn't he? Hmm. Okay, what was I going to say though? Yeah, so Dota Rex, when that comes out, 
or it's gonna come back out after the Halloween events over it is gonna be finished for a little bit we do need to go and get a little bit more wood uh, after the Halloween event is over it is going to be finished or it is going to disappear but uh, word on the street it's coming back this month because today is November 1st daylight saving times too how'd you guys spend your daylight saving time I spent it sleeping it was actually some very nice sleep can I just say daylight saving time when time goes back an hour Ooh. That is the best sleep of my life, just knowing that I should have got eight hours. Nah, I got nine. Oh, it's such a good feeling. Seriously, feels like you're on top of the world one hour ago, to be exact. Mm. Like I was saying, though, the Dota Rex in the month of November, I'm guessing they might bring it back for like a Thanksgiving event or something like that. Educated guess, though. Don't take this as fact. My by no means. Also, should we be dropping some berries off this guy? I feel like berries might be weighing him down a little bit. Huh? Maybe? Maybe? No? Okay, well, I mean, he's got a lot of berries, so I'm just gonna stop dropping dropping this jazz. Uh, I'll leave the narcos on, just because narcos are usually pretty good, but uh, I'll just drop everything, because this is a lot of weight in berries, as in, he's a walking berry chest. It's actually quite horrifying when you think about it, because... There should never be this many berries in one place. Like, I think there's less berries in a supermarket than there are in this mammoth right now. It's fascinating, truly. But, uh, Dotorex, Dev said it's gonna be coming back next month. Uh, supposedly. This is what I'm going off of. And, uh, from what I'm guessing, it's gonna be a little bit less OP. As you guys can probably tell, it is insanely OP currently in the Halloween updates. It's literally the devil in that it terrorizes everything. Not good. It's not good, and uh, it's literally the devil in that regard. Very strong. And uh, when I was messing around with it in single player on that video, uh, it, like I said, it actually had very low support relative to everything else. But turns out you can't actually affect the topor of it in the current update. However, I believe that they're going to be nerfing it for next month, potentially make it less devastating. And then also. Uh, what's the last thing that they're gonna do? Actually make it, you know, like you can knock it out and tame it. Because currently, I don't think it's supposed to be knocked out. However, people can usually find a will or find a way and whatnot. All those random sayings that you're used to. But nonetheless, I'm excited for that. And I'm excited to hopefully try and tame it. Uh, again, we'll have our entire group here. Hopefully we'll be able to gather up some troops and have some fun. But, uh... In the meantime, we're beginning upon the humble abode of Star in the pooping evolved city, and it's quite it's a beautiful city. But our house is gonna make it more beautiful. Just kidding, I'm not that narcissistic. But it is gonna be good to add our house in. Uh, hopefully some of these guys, because a lot of these guys used to play a lot of Minecraft, and that's why they have uh, the creativity of Mozart and and Beethoven and what's what's a creative person? Uh Bob Ross. Whereas, I have the creativity of a straight line that isn't even straight, you know? So, I got some difficulties I gotta overcome. Maybe they can teach me their ways of building absolutely dope houses because I don't know those ways and I don't think I will know them for quite a while unless I get some much needed help. So, uh, fingers crossed that they're able to help a brother out. Level up is available. Ooh la la, we got ourselves another level up. Check, check it. What do we have here? Mm, I wanna... What do we work on? I like having a lot of weight. I'm not gonna lie, weight is so useful. I kinda wanna bring weight up to 200 just because we're gonna be doing a lot of hauling, especially if we wanna build up the house. So I feel like weight might low key be high key an amazing choice. So let's go with that. <laughs> and then we, we're gonna wanna have a second floor here. Uh, we'll do it in like that corner. We'll throw like a, uh, the thing with the name, the trap door. That's what we want. Can we even craft the trap door yet? I'm not sure. We're still relatively low level. Also, a lot of guys are telling me to import my dinos from Season 2 and Season 1. I can actually import my dinos from Season 1, the ones that successfully made it out. Frodo did not, unfortunately. But uh, Season 2, I cannot because Ritz's server was not, like, a uh, hub in that sense. Whereas, like, you could bring your dinos to his and you could bring his dinos to yours or something. Like, no, it's specifically that server is kind of with that server. But uh, I think I can bring my Season 1 dinos back, so keep an eye out for that. Might be some cool jazz going on there. And can we build trapdoors? We have the hatch frame. And we have ourselves the trapdoor. Is that the right? Wooden hatch frame. Okay. 
I was overthinking that for a second. I was like, wait a minute. Am I sure? I like, yeah, I, I should be sure. And then for that ice cream, we just need ourselves a teeny bit more wood. And when I say teeny bit, I literally mean a teeny, teeny, teeny bit. There's actually, we don't we barely need any wood, but we're going to have to get it. And then after that, we will at least have ourselves an enclosed little 3x3 three three we can call home. We will be improving upon it. Trust me, I'm, I don't want to live in a 3x3 three three shack. I want to live in a mansion. I want to have a real awesome house. And one day, that will happen. When will that day be? God knows. God knows. And I'm not God, so I don't know. But uh, one day, we will find out. Uh, I'm just going to go here and chop the rest of the wood. I don't feel like bringing the mammoth out. He's so slow. Like, I can honestly run over to some trees, chop them down, and make it back faster. Oh, I forgot how close we are to the river. It's actually a very central location. I like it. All right. Let's grab the rest of this wood. Is that enough? Yeah, look at that. I already got the hatch frame. Bada bing. Bada boom. As soon as it's grafted up, we're going to have ourselves a completed house. As in, by completed, I mean no openings whatsoever. It's it's entirely closed and all that jazz. So we'll be good there. And let's close that door behind us. We will just, we, we'll just we have a place to call home. We'll bring the community mammoth back. We don't want to leave him out and about. That lighthouse is still so bright. And uh, it's going to feel good. You know, we finally... After a couple episodes of being like a wanderer, we have our own little place to call ours, thanks to the help of the lovely people of this city, and and the server in general. And we're gonna have to see where this goes, because, you know, one day we're living in a 3x3, three three, one-story wooden house. The next day we might be living in a mansion. Hopefully we're, we're living in a mansion the next day. I don't know if it'll exactly be tomorrow as in the next day, but... One day, one day. Also, apparently someone was correcting me. Uh, I was saying last episode, or like a couple episodes ago, that sign. I was like, oh, that can't be an elephant. Elef that looks like an elephant. I'm like, wait, elephants don't have tusks. Turns out, I'm dumb. Elephants, they they, they do have tusks. A, not my brightest moment. I haven't had a lot of bright moments, you know? I mean, I have some bright moments, but usually they're not even that bright to begin with and then you have like the really dark moments like you have the negative light moments it's even worse but uh we got ourselves this nice little home here which is awesome we gotta start furnishing it with some stuff uh, we'll probably do that next episode if uh Zul'jin's not back and we can go tame up a spider because i do want to have my own first little dino to call ours uh one day we'll go on an adventure import a bunch of our fellas and overall just have a good day have a very very good day so before we do that and call it a day I'm looking for the sleep in. I don't know why I passed over it a million times. There we go. We got that. We got the simple bed. Craftable simple bed. Hide sleeping bag. We'll figure that out because we already have a bed over in the barn or whatever. So all is good. Uh, sorry that most of this episode was in the nighttime. That's just the way that it kind of is right now with the events. Server times or server nights are... They made them a little bit longer, I think. But less... That's gonna do it for me for this episode. Hopefully next time Zuljin will be back. Maybe some others. Maybe someone completely different. But Zuljin's kind of my guide. He's the guy helping me out, helping me get started. Uh, but who knows? Could still play with a bunch of other people because there's like a bajillion other people on the server that you guys know of. So we can still definitely have fun there. But hopefully we can get that spider going soon because that is kind of newish in the sense that it was in the newest update. And uh, November third, two days from now, the Gigantosaurus. I think it's being added, so uh, keep your eyes peeled. Maybe we'll get a bunch of people together, but oh boy, is it going to be fun when we can get that gigantic thing. I think that's going to be the biggest dinosaur in the game. I think it's like the size of a Bronto, but it's a carnivore, so hoo -hoo -hoo, that's going to be good. But that is going to go ahead and do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, as always, and hopefully, I'll see you next one.